Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we will consider determine and sketch even and odd components of the following signals. The first signal is x of n. We have considered sketching of this and its even and odd part in the previous video lecture. In this video lecture, we will consider sketching x of t, its even and odd part. So how do I find the even and odd part of any given signal? First thing is I have written the formula that is x e of t which is equal to 1 by 2 into bracket x of t plus x of minus t. This is the continuous time signal and its even part is represented as x e of t. The first task is let me sketch the signal itself that is x of t that is with respect to time t. So what does the what are the limits of time t? So here you can check t varies from 0 to 1 and it is 1 to 2. So ultimately its limits are going to be 0, 1 till 2. So this is the limit of the signal. And what is the value of that signal? That, that I can find it very easily. Uh, first let me put t equal to 0 so that I would get x of t is equal to 2 into 0 is nothing but 0 only. So this is the sample at the position 0. Similarly at the position 1. At the position 1 if I put t is equal to 1, I am going to get 2 into 1, that is nothing but 2. So this is the signal, this is the sample that I am going to get at the position 1. Is that fine? Similarly, move on further, if I put in this expression t is equal to 1, 2 minus 1 is 1 and into 2 it is 2, at the position 1 I am getting it. Similarly put t equal to 2, it, is, it becomes 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 into 2 is nothing but 0. So I would indicate something like this. So if I join that, I'm going to get a triangular wave that is x of t. So let me join those things. So this is how the signal x of t would look like. And its highest amplitude is going to be 2. So this is x of t. The next task is to sketch its mirror image which is nothing but x of minus t. So here let me write this as x of minus t and this is t and I said to get the mirror image all the positive values limits of t would become negative and negative values of t would become positive. So here I'm going to get 0 minus 1 minus 2. So positive sides I'm going to I'm not going to get anything as I do not have anything over here and uh, to get that I just have to flip that along the vertical axis. So if I do that I'm going to get a triangular wave and that can be represented something like this. Yes. This is how finally x of minus t would look like and its highest amplitude is also going to be 2. The next task is to sketch its even part. For that, for that task I need to add both the signals later divide by 2. First thing is I have to uh, write the limits. So let me indicate this as even part of the signal x e of t with respect to time t. So what I am going to get, uh, let me write all the possible limits because I am going to add these two things. So this starts at minus 2 and uh, this ends at plus 2. So they are going to be my extreme limits, minus 2 to plus 2. So in this range the signal is going to exist. First part, start, start from, let me start from the extreme left. Here I don't have anything that is 0 plus this signal, I am going to get that signal itself. So that is a triangular wave from minus 2 till 0. This is how the signal looks like. Next task is this plus 0. Start uh, varying from 0 to 2. This is the uh, shape of the signal. I am adding this with 0 and I am going to get the same triangular wave and which is represented something like this. So this is how ultimately the signal is going to look like and the highest amplitude was the 2 but later to get the even part I need to divide by 2 hence I am going to get the amplitude as 1. So ultimately this is how the even part of the signal x e of t looks like. Next thing is to sketch the odd part. I would represent this as x o of t with respect to t. First let me write down all the possible limits the limits of this signal would also remain the same as earlier, minus 2 to plus 2. Now I need to subtract x of t and x of minus t later divide by 2. So that is that is the formula to 
find the odd part of the signal so it is not written let me write x o of t is equal to 1 by 2 into bracket x of t minus x of minus t divide by 2 I mean uh, divide by 2 is already there so the, I am going to subtract these two signals yes I would start from the extreme left here I do not have anything this minus this signal uh, here 0 minus 2 is going to be minus 2 this is going to be flipped version along the horizontal axis so that is what I am going to get the shape of the signal would look something like this yes this is how the signal is going to look from minus 2 to 0 is that okay and the amplitude was minus 2 but later I need to divide by 2 and I'm going to get this as minus 1 the amplitude I would call it as minus 1 similarly check it for 0 to 2 0 to 2 this is the shape of the signal this minus this I'm going to get this part of the signal itself and later I have to divide by 2 that can that can be done yes first let me draw the signal yes this is how it is and later I'm going to divide this by 2 the amplitude is going to be 2 divided by 2 is nothing but plus 1 this is nothing but odd part of the signal x o of t these are the final versions I would say x e of t e1 part is symmetric about the vertical axis similarly odd part is anti-symmetric about the vertical axis so ultimately this is how the e1 part and odd part and uh, sketching of x of t all three tasks are done here Thank you so much for watching.